2000 here coming at you with my top five favorite movies from 2004 and yeah i'm gonna talk about movies that i enjoyed from 2004 and i know i may do other ones like move top five favorite movies from 1984 1974 1964 or even movies from 2014 that was 10 years ago but right now I'm talking about movies from nine, from 2004 and I have my five favorite movies from that year and I also have some honorable mentions from that year as well so yeah this your favorite five favorite movies from 2004 folks and enjoy watching and yeah list your favorites five favorites or even a favorite movie from that year in 2004 that has its 20th anniversary but yeah, I have an honorable mentions. Uh, first up is honorable mention, Matrix Revolution. I know a lot of people shit on this movie, but I like the Matrix movies. I have fun with them. I even did like the new one, and I know a lot of people shit on it, but to each their own. But yeah, nice two disc set, four disc, full screen edition on DVD, and yeah. I did like the Matrix movies, and this is a year. This one came out in 2004. It was filmed back to back with Matrix Revolution. Re 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 That's what it's called, Reloaded. But, um, yeah. And then my other favorite in you know, honorable mentions is the Dawn of the Dead remake. There's some problems that I have with the movie, but I still enjoy it. I think it's an enjoyable remake. I'm not a huge remake person, but I have to mention that. It is still a bloody remake and entertaining to watch and a lot of gory carnage and zombie gore throughout. Another honorable mention for 2004 is Walking Tall with Johnny Knoxville and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I really enjoyed this movie released by MVD. I enjoyed this remake. This is another remake that I enjoy. That I actually like this remake more than the original Walking Tall movie. I don't know. It's just. I feel like this one. Was. I feel like it told the story much better. And it was more fast paced. And. I feel like the movie goes real quick. Like you're just going to walk into a thrill ride of an action movie that kicks ass. And taking on things like a motherfucker. And yeah. I enjoyed the one. The Walking Tall remake with The Rock. It's a good movie. And my last honorable mention, I would have to say, is my favorite movie from 2004 is Dark Harvest. I think this is a very underrated, low-budget Scarecrow movie that came out in 2004. I know there were sequels to it, but those were shitty sequels. Like They have no story or no connection to this first movie. But it's a low-budget Scarecrow movie, and the act is not the best, but I enjoy it. I, I think it's more creative than most of the new horror movie shit that comes out. Which I think the new stuff fucking sucks. But I I just feel like Dark Harvest is not that bad. And I enjoy it. Now we're going to the top five. Five favorite movies from 2004 that I enjoy. These are my five favorite personal favorite movies that, that I really enjoyed. One movie may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I, I did enjoy it from that year. But number five, first up is The Punisher with Thomas Jane and John Travolta. I really think this movie kicks ass. Brutal fucking film from Marvels. Back when they was worth their shit in the 2000s and they were awesome. But I am looking forward to Deadpool and Wolverine. That's one movie I'm looking forward to this year. I hope Disney does not screw that shit up. But Thomas Jane kicks ass as Frank Castle when his family gets murdered. And he takes revenge on John Travolta's gang. And also Will and Hurt, um, nah, Will Patton is one is in the gang of John Travolta, and yeah, everything crazy, and even Kevin Nash as the Russian has a vicious fight with Thomas Jane's Punisher, Frank Castle, badass movie. I like the Punisher, great badass movie. Next movie, Day After Tomorrow with Jake Gyllenhaal and Randy and Dennis Quaid. I almost said Rand, Randy Quaid, but. But yeah, Dennis Quaid and Randy Quaid are brothers, and they did work with Roland Emmerich, with Dennis Quaid here, and then Randy Quaid in Independence Day. <laughs> but yeah, Independence Day, I enjoyed this one with Jake Jonah and Dennis Quaid. Pretty good disaster movie, like this 
you know, disaster movies like Twister, Volcano, and The Core. This movie is really good. Pretty cool special effects. Well done on the disasters with the flood in New York, the tornadoes in L.A. Like, that shit is fucking insane, man. And I always thought this was one of my favorite Roland Emmerich movies. And this movie still rules, and it's criminally underrated. Great movie. And and also, like, the movie just has insane special effects. Like, it just... Not not ugly CGI crap. It's like convincing CGI, especially the tornado in LA taking over LA. That's fucking insane. And then my third favorite movie from 2004 is Mean Girls with Lindsay Lohan and Tina Fey and Rachel McAdams. And this, yeah, I know people may say, "What the fuck do you have this movie on your list?" Yeah, it was a movie that my sister used to watch all the time. And I was not really into the chick flick movies, but this one, I thought this one was well acted and well scripted and it was a pretty funny movie. And you got some pretty good actors in there. Of course, Rachel McAdam was in Red Eye. I like her in that movie. So, yeah. And also, uh, what's that girl's name? But the girl that plays Janice, that, that actress was also in the Castle Rock TV show as well. But all in all, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Pretty good acting. And also the guy that plays Damien, he's in that movie Bully. Which is a very underrated drama movie. But yeah, Mean Girls, pretty fun movie. Good cast, good witty comedy. It's a bit of a teen chick flick, but I don't mind it. I did grow up watching it, and I thought it was not cringe. At the, at the first thought, this one was going to be fucking cringy. But this movie is just a lot of fun. And yeah, it's just... It's well written by Tina Fey, who written the movie. But I know they came out with a fucking remake that was just looks really stupid to me, in my opinion. The musical, which I don't give a fucking shit about that. Fuck the remake. The original's better. And then number two is Van Helsing. This is a badass motherfucking movie with Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale kicking ass like motherfuckers. All in all, the 4K is great. Badass action sequence with the vampires and the werewolves and the Frankenstein monsters. All that cool fucking shit. Directed by Steven Summers from the director of Deep Rising and The Mummy. This movie kicks ass. Definitely an underrated badass movie. And I know a lot of people don't like this movie, but I love it. People may have hate this movie to each their own, but I love this movie. It fucking thrills. And then my favorite movie from 2004 is Napoleon Dynamite. I really did enjoy this movie. It's a lot of fucking great, funny shit throughout this movie. I feel like this is one of the best 2000s movies of all time. This is my favorite movie from 2004. It's fucking funny. I know there's a double-sided bullshit where you have the full screen and the wide screen, which is dumb, but whatever. This movie still holds up. Great cast, John Heather, John Grease, Aaron Rule, Efren Ramirez, Tina Matrioni, and Didrit Batter. Great fucking cast. And yeah, it's also directed by Jared Hess, who directed Nacho Libre, which is another fucking awesome movie in the 2000s. But this movie is a lot of fun. Great funny shit. Sweet. You got Pegs, Lucky. You take it off in sweet jumps. Yeah, it just it has iconic lines throughout the movie, and Napoleon Dynamite is a funny character. All the characters are entertaining. Rex Quando. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That Dear Rich Batter played Rex. That was a funny ass character. But on and on, and Uncle Rico is such a jackass. People call me Uncle Rico. I think I put a I'll throw a four mile football in the over the fields right kip jeez like all this funny shit that happens throughout this movie it's well written well comedy back when movie was worth the shit like these movies were worth the shit that i just mentioned all these movies that i just talked about these are just worth the shit because they were well written movies van helsing was well written mean girls was well written 
Day After Tomorrow was well written. The Punisher with Thomas Jane was well written. Of course, it's a low budget, but it was not that bad. Well, Tom wasn't that bad either. It was a fast paced, well written movie, and even The Matrix Revolution was not that bad. I also forgot to mention Shaun of the Dead. That's another movie that, that came out in 2004. I don't own it, but I definitely would like to pick it up. Shaun of the Dead is a funny ass movie with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost being funny ass motherfuckers. Kicking ass, taking no names on zombies in London and kicking ass with a bunch of gore and carnage. And that's a funny movie by Edgar Wright. That's a great movie. And I had to I forgot to mention in the honorable mentions. I, I don't own the movie, but I definitely would like to pick up the 4K one day. Because that's a great, great fucking movie. But yeah, 2004 came out with some pretty great movies. And uh, stay tuned, folks, for like later on in other videos that I may do for favorite movies of 2014, 1994. 1974, 1984. Yeah, I may do a next one like this one for top five favorites. But this is your guys' favorite movies from 2004. Five favorites or even your favorite, just one favorite movie and explain what you love about the movie. Yeah, thanks for enjoying watching the video, folks. Have a good day and take care, everybody. Bye-bye.